Meghan Markle displays some very cringy and controlling behavior during a polo match award ceremony. Prince Harry loses his bid to appeal against high court ruling. And we have some updates to Meghan Markle's brand new cooking show. You guys, we have a lot of juicy Royal Daily Tea to get through today, so you know what to do. Sit back and relax, grab yourself a beverage, and let's get into the Royal Daily Tea. <laughs> So little Prince Harry, who is a bad sport, little Prince Harry lost his day in court. Prince Harry loses bid to appeal against the high court ruling over his UK security. A high judge has thrown out his attempt to appeal against a high court ruling, dismissing his challenge over his UK security arrangements. I swear Prince Harry is on a fool's journey. So Prince Harry received the major blow today that the high court judge has now rejected his attempt to launch an appeal against the court's decision to reject his challenge against the government over his security when in the UK. The Duke of Sussex took legal action against the government after they downgraded his security back in February of 2020 when he stepped down as a working royal. Now, RAVAC is the committee that oversees security arrangements for the royal family and other high-profile figures. Now, it was decided in February of 2020 that Harry was no longer entitled to automatic police protection when in the UK. Now, he was never denied protection. He has been given protection several times when he has returned back to the UK for state visits. And every time he is in the presence of other royalty, like going over to see his daddy, he's going to get full police protection. However, that's not good enough for little Harry. He wants it all. He wants to be like the Pope or the King, even though he doesn't even reside in the country and is a non-working royal. He thinks he's special and him and his wife deserve all of the best treatment. However, Ravak did not agree with that assessment. So ever since then, Harry has been battling in the high courts to have his VIP status reinstated. However, the judge threw out his lawsuit in February, and now he has lost his right to appeal the high court on that decision. However, it does look like he's going to take it to a higher court because again, he apparently doesn't mind spending thousands and thousands of dollars on a wasted fool's journey. So there's a little bit of a silver lining. Prince Harry received a 10% discount, y'all, on his legal fees over his court case against Rayback. Now, according to court documents, the Home Office did not provide the correct documentation that would mention the three categories of people for whom they provide state protection when it should have been legally done so. Again, he's always looking for a loophole. Now, the three categories are role-based individuals like royals, other VIPs, and those who need occasional support. So that is the one I believe Harry is trying to fall under. This meant the prince's legal team has not been made aware of the other VIP category, which according to them was crucial to their claim. Harry's team initially sought a reduction of 50 to 60 <laughs> percent, right, because of the way in which the documents and information were disclosed by the Home Office. However, the judge said they had an oversight, but they did not act in bad faith. The defendant's breaches are in all circumstances sanctionable. So he gave him a 10% discount on his around 500k legal fees. Now remember, we still have an issue with Harry's visa, 
over here in the United States. Right now, a federal judge is looking at his visa application, wink, wink, that uh, he's going to determine if it's going to be public knowledge. So if the judge decides to make his application public, this is going to open up a whole can of worms for Harry and Meghan because we're going to find out if, in fact, he lied on his visa application and what kind of visa he has. Then it's going to bring up a whole lot of problems with his book Spare and who did what. So stay tuned on that. But I do believe this is why Harry is pushing to get the Homeland Security over there in the UK because he might have to live there permanently if he gets the old heave ho in America. What do y'all think about that? Leave me your comments down below. So I have some really exciting news for you guys. I'm sure you're going to be so thrilled. Meghan Markle has started filming for her brand new cooking show. She's going to start filming on Tuesday, April 16th. Woohoo! But the news is, and I don't think any of us are really going to be surprised, Meghan Markle is not going to be filming in her own house. She's not going to be filming in her kitchen in her Montecito compound. Just like they didn't film the Harry and Meghan Netflix docu-series, or should I say mock-you-series, in their own house. Instead, they rented out a much bigger and grander house to film their series. So apparently, Meghan Markle is renting out a house in the neighborhood to film her upcoming show. Again, we can't picture Meghan Markle cooking, yet alone knowing exactly where the kitchen is located in her own house. I mean, has this woman ever used all 16 of her toilets? I mean, let's be real here. She probably doesn't even know where all of the 16 bathrooms are located. So to think that Meghan Markle knows how to turn on the oven or how to cook anything in her actual kitchen is a bit of a stretch. But I do find it extremely weird that she feels this obsessive need for privacy, for smoke and mirrors. Again, we never see her mythical children. Again, this week, you guys, was the polo series where they were seen out and about with Serena Williams, with Nacho, Nacho's wife, Nacho's children, but Archie and Lilibet were conspicuously absent. I do find that strange. It's like we never see their house and we never see their kids. Do any of these things exist? Again, it's just very, very bizarre to me. But Meghan Markle wants us to feel like she's real and she's authentic. She's a real person showing up in $8,000 outfits to a polo field with no kids. And now she's not even going to film her own reality show where she's supposed to be a mom, relatable, I'm a mom in somebody else's house. Talk about fake and pretentious. That's Meghan Markle in a nutshell. What do y'all think about Meghan Markle once again filming outside of her house? Leave me your comments, guys, down below. So Meghan Markle's love tank, y'all, is full. We all know that Megzi Markle loves a microphone almost as much as she loves a trophy and an award, and of course, a camera. Oh my goodness, Meghan Markle was living her narcissistic wet dream. All of her wishes came true. Meghan Markle and her lobster claw have reared their ugly head once again, where she was the center of attention. It is getting to the point where it's kind of cringy. It's embarrassing. It's like you are supposed to be, and I'm saying air quotes, supposed to be a royal duchess. You have been married to Harry for six years years. Girlfriend, he is not going to get up and fly away. You do not need to constantly 
you know, canoodle him and herd him like a little sheep. Come on, Harry. Come on, Harry. She's always pulling at him, grabbing him, directing him. I still don't understand why he puts up with this woman. It is totally embarrassing to watch a grown man being directed and pulled on and grabbed on from an over clingy wife. She is a complete attention whore. That woman literally has a Norma Desmond moment, a love affair with the camera. She always makes sure that she is dead center. Everyone else is looking around. They're happily interacting, but you will see Meghan Markle's eyes are always on the camera. That is just creepy, okay? I think I'm going to have nightmares of Meghan Markle staring at me through the damn camera. Seriously, it's not normal behavior. Meghan Markle acts like she's a wannabe actress, debutante, a person who's never been in front of a camera before, not a seasoned actress and a royal duchess. Again, she acts very, very desperate for attention. I don't know who finds that attractive. I don't know if she acted this way with her ex-husband, Trevor. When I look at old photographs, I don't see her being very clingy and possessive and bossy the way that she is with Harold. Again, maybe that's just the games that they like to play, the role playing, where Megan's playing the part of his Oh, mom, mommy, Megan, be mom again, right? I mean, let's be honest here. He kind of has that odious complex that Meghan Markle, boy, she likes to fill the role of mommy telling little Harold what to do. It's kind of gross and embarrassing. But again, maybe that's what keeps them excited in the bedroom. Who knows? But Meghan Markle, in my opinion, every time I see this woman, I don't recognize her. She looks different every single time. It's like I literally could not identify her on a police lineup if you sent me the past 10 photos of Megan. And what is going on with her veneers? I'm not trying to be rude here, but is she trying to mimic a horse? Megan Markle, just because you go to a polo event doesn't mean you need to channel and replicate looking like a horse. Just saying. So Meghan Markle walks in in a very expensive outfit, which quite frankly looked like a cheap Halloween costume where she was playing the part of Frankenstein's bride. So the cringe-worthy moment that everyone has been talking about on the internet is when Meghan Markle went to give Prince Harry an award for winning a polo match. Now this was for the Santa Bali Polo Cup in Miami, where Meghan, of course, had to be the one to give him the award. No one else could touch it. It's all Megzy. Okay, so Megan had to go up there and make a big production, making sure she was looking at the camera. She presents Harry the award and plants a really nauseating kiss on Harry because she always has to love up the PDA to let everyone know just a mm, we're so happy, right? We're just so in love. We're the salt and the pepper and the peanut butter and the jelly. But it's so nauseating for other people to watch. But then there was a moment where a lady was actually going to, you know, get on the stage and stand next to Harry during the award ceremony for a photo op. I believe the woman is the president or vice president of Senti Bali. So she, of all people, needed to be in the photograph, but Meghan Markle refused to move. Literally made that woman awkwardly kind of, you know, duck down and around on the other side of Meghan. Why does Meghan Markle act like she needed to be in the middle? She does not represent Santa Bali. As a matter of fact, she doesn't do anything that I know of with that charity. Now, many people were focusing on the incident. It was awkward. It was embarrassing. It was cringy. You can hear Megan kind of hurting the lady saying, do you want to move here? Do you want to move here? Well, obviously she didn't. Megan, because she was literally trying to stand next to Harry and you pushed that poor woman 
aside. Now on top of this cringy moment, apparently there's a video of Meghan Markle literally elbowing and kind of gently pushing Harry out of the way so Meghan Markle could stay in the center of the camera. Here is the video. You guys, how do people not see how controlling and conniving, manipulative, and narcissistic, on top of being rude, crude, and unsociable, this woman is? But people still think she's the Duchess of do good and kindness and forgiveness. But clearly, she is so self absorbed and obsessed with herself. She is so narcissistic and everything is revolving around Meghan Markle. How do people not see this? In my opinion, there's something seriously wrong with someone who is so obsessed with being the center of attention, literally wanting her Norma Desmond moment. I'm ready for my close up. That woman is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Well, that is all the royal tea that I have for y'all today. What did you guys think? Leave me your comments, guys, down below. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope to see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.